Kelsey and welcome to Rogers Tech Tips. Today I wanted to take a little bit of time and talk to you today about Rogers Ignite TV. We're going to spend a little bit of time talking about the remote, getting to know some tips, tricks, and maybe something new that you don't already know. So first off, as you probably already know, we have our award-winning voice remote which is easily accessible on everyone's remote by pressing and holding the actual microphone key here and speaking into the microphone at the top of your remote. You can say things like actors, network channels, or even shows that you want to access. It's as easy as saying Sportsnet into the remote and it will bring you to that actual channel. A couple other great functions that you can do with this as well is if there's an actor that you want to watch, but you're not sure um, what the name of the movie is. I could say something like Steve Martin. And then what this will load up for me is it will load up across different platforms, so whether it's YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus, and I'll have access to different um, TV shows or movies uh, that have Steve Martin playing in those as well. So aside from our voice remote, we've got a really um, some great additional functions on our remote that are very accessible just by the click of a button. For example, if we hit A on our remote, we get into the actual help section of Ignite TV. What you can do through here is actually complete a reset on your Ignite TV system. You can do just a standard refresh of your system. Maybe there was a powder, power outage and you're having some lagging in your actual TV service. So you can actually hit reset um, or system refresh and this will just help give your system the restart that it does need. Uh, there's some additional functions, so whether it's remote setup or some additional tips and tricks that you can walk through. So for example, you've got like your recording time, you've got um, dimming your box, uh, the box TV lights, there's different kids zone functions on here as well. And then you even have the ability to actually go and reset some of your different platforms that are available through Ignite TV. So whether that's Netflix is a really great example. As you know, sometimes it might get stuck in a loop and you might need to log back in. This is a really great tool to be able to reset that. Then. Something that is super great and really accessible is you'll have access to our Rogers YouTube channel without even having to launch YouTube. You can go into your help section and then it'll give you a couple different functions. So change your Ignite TV Flux channels, how to add channels and theme packs, as well as how to use the Ignite TV app, just for a couple really great examples. So moving on, now that we've talked about option A on our remote, another really, really popular one for us is option C. So, for the sports lover in your life, maybe yourself, by hitting C, you actually launch our sports app. So, what you're able to do through here is once I hit C, it allows me to keep viewing what I'm currently watching on TV, but then it will also show me on the far right side, it will show me watch now. So, there would be whatever games are live at this point in time, I would be able to see. I would be able to see the network that these are on as well. And then scrolling over, I actually have the ability to see upcoming games, or if there were a live game, I'd actually be able to see the score through here. We've got various sports, so the NHL, NBA, MLB, so forth, and you can actually access all of that right through here. And you can even change, you could set up for your favorite sports teams. Maybe you want reminders for when the game starts. And so you can actually go and set those up You'd select your sport, select your team, and then you will be able to get those regular updates right on your TV to make sure that you never miss out on your favorite team. Also, I just wanted to really quickly show you just some accessibility options. So by hitting B, you can actually go through here and you can quick access, closed captioning, different options, audio languages, setting up Bluetooth devices as well, uh, remote, remote shortcuts and things like that. So this is just a really great um, settings just so you can go and update potentially a couple things that might help you use your Ignite TV service a little bit more functionally. Perfect, and so now you've gotten to know some of the key, um, the core area of your remote. So some additional things that a lot of people don't actually know. There is tons and tons of free content. So by hitting Rogers on your remote and scrolling all the way to the left, all the way to the right, sorry, if we were to select apps, so we've got our featured apps on the top, 
These do require a subscription service along with them, but you are lucky enough to have the integration of these streaming services all in one. So rather than having to find your TV remote, change your input, launch into maybe your um, fire stick or whatever it may be, it's all built right into your television. So you can access it either through the apps button or simply again by speaking into your microphone, pressing and holding the microphone button and saying either Netflix, Disney Plus, Crave, whatever it may be and it will actually take you to that app as well. But a couple options that a lot of people don't know is just below is the free options. So we've got some entertainment, so we have some TV options as well. So going either into Zumo Play, going into Tubi, these are two very popular apps that have hundreds of free titles accessible to you. So without having to order anything on demand, you have access to some additional movies, television shows for your viewing at any point in time. And so again, that's just some TV shows. Then we do have um, like Tuber and Hey You available as well with some additional free content that you can access as well. Some really fun ones as well is Daily Life. Going into some of our Ignite ones as well, you can look at our Ignite Health at Home. It will give you a couple different fitness videos. It will give you some great recipes, um, some different lifestyle tips. So there's lots of great things built right into your remote that don't require any additional subscriptions or services to be able to utilize. So thanks for joining us today to learn a little bit more about Ignite TV and get to know your remote a little bit better. We look forward to having you join us next week on Rogers Tech Tips.